Hi, Colleen from voiceregistry.voicebank.net and voicebank.net here for today's video tip of the day. This is the thing. I know that all of you are at different levels when it comes to your voiceover journey and what you want to do with voiceover in general. Now, what you want to do is you want to assess where you really are at. Because if you're in the position where you're just wanting to get a lot of practice, get in front of people, uh, maybe get some work just for the sake of being able to work on what you're doing and it doesn't really matter to you if you get paid or not, kind of like how people do with hobbies. I mean, let's face it, a lot of people have hobbies, they love doing it, and they could care less that they ever get paid. But let's face it, most of you are doing this because ultimately you would like to have a very nice, lucrative voiceover career, correct? So this is what you have to start thinking to yourself. If you are saying to people, well, I'm getting lots of work, and depending on what avenue that work is getting, you're getting from, um, how much are you being paid? Are you being paid what you're worth? Are you even breaking even on what you've invested in, let's say, microphones, maybe booth setup, software on your computer for editing the audio, um, the time it takes to get to and from a session? You know, you have to start thinking, am I actually getting work that I'm paying for? That's a big question. So we understand you may or may not be represented by a talent agent yet, okay? But it really doesn't hurt to see what really your worth should be when it comes to the voiceover industry. So we're gonna recommend that you go on the voicebank.net blog, and I will put the address um, on this video, and just take a look. We ha actually have made it very, very simple to be able to click on and go to either SAG or AFTRA and uh, our link has actually gotten it to where it's easy to navigate right to the uh, contract section. And just take a look and see what the, what the scale, what the pay rate is for the various types of jobs that are out there for voiceover. Because the thing is, is that if you get a job, if you get work, and they're paying you a few bucks for doing it, when actually they should be really paying you what you are worth, then wouldn't it be good that you have some idea of what your worth is? And like I said, if you are just merely in the situation of you just want to get in front of whatever just to get the practice, that's what, you know, look at how many people have hobbies and they spend boku bucks on their hobby and never expect to get any money. They just enjoy with playing with their toys, you know, their motocross or whatever it is that they do. But those of you that are seriously serious about the voice over industry, start really assessing what am I worth, truly? And is the work I'm getting really something that is coming back to me in a profitable and a fair way? So I'm not saying that you, you should always expect scale when you're not a union member, but at least get the idea of what that base rate is and start then assessing your worth based from that. I think that's quite important. And it's, it's just good to know. It's good information to know. So do that. Go on, the, go on our blog on voicebank.net. Check out those rates. Um, what's probably going to happen, I have to warn you, is that we have a lot of great other information on the Voice Bank blog that you're going to want to take a look at. A lot of information about um, voiceover classes that are going on, conferences, uh, seminars, um, other tidbits of voiceover news that would really be, again, a useful resource tool for you to take advantage of. Okay, that's it for now. Have a great weekend. And for those of you that are involved in taking uh, advantage of the weekend workout, much luck to you, and may your vocal cords do you well. Bye.